Hello and welcome to the Social Connection. We are back again with the latest from the virtual world. So sit back and relax as we take you through all the fun and a little bit of drama that did the rounds in the social media space. I am Nancy Kohli and with me is Preeti. Thank you, Nancy. Welcome everyone. We are back with your weekly dose of news from the virtual world, the top trends, interesting videos and much more in today's Social Connection. But before we head to what trended through the week, let's take a look at our headline stories. Facebook rolls out Hindi transliteration tool on Android app. Twitter makes it easier to report threats to law enforcement. YouTube brings new homepage with improved recommendations for its app. A lot of people in India write Hindi posts and comments on Facebook using English characters or Roman script instead of using the native Hindi Devnagari script. Also, most Android phones sold in India don't have support for typing in the Hindi script. People have to download a separate keyboard app for that. But you don't need to do that at least for using Facebook as the social media giant has rolled out Hindi transliteration feature on its Android app. Take a look. Android users will not be able to type in Hindi on the Facebook app even if their smartphone does not support the native Devnagri script. The company says that user feedback indicated that people want to read and write in Hindi on the social media site. So now Facebook's Android app will have a lightweight Hindi editor natively built inside it and when the app setting is turned on, a button will be added to the bar where you can type updates and comments. The tool automatically transliterates Roman characters to Hindi script and it means that a user can type a Hindi sentence using Roman characters on Facebook. The social media giant said in a statement, We are now rolling out a lightweight Hindi editor inside the Facebook app for Android phones. When the app setting is turned on, a button is added to the bar where you type updates and comments which automatically transliterates Roman characters to Devnagri script. Facebook says the tool will ensure that users do not have to download a separate keyboard app or switch keyboards when they want to type in a different language. The tool will also remember the phrases a person uses the most. The most often used suggestions get saved in the features memory, similar to how WhatsApp remembers the words or expressions we use the most and offers them as autocorrect options. Transliteration is not always accurate and in such cases, the user can directly type in the word they want in Devnagri. In the statement, Facebook further added, we are just starting to roll this out and working to improve. But if we do not get the Devnagri characters right, there is an option to type them in yourself. This feature is available to people in India on the latest version of Facebook for Android app. In its ongoing move to stamp out harassment while maintaining free speech on its platform, Twitter began rolling out a simple yet an important tool this week. Now, Twitter users will be able to group up to five tweets when reporting a case of harassment on the social network. Before now, you could only report individual tweets. Here's a report on the latest update. After being repeatedly called out for its slow response to abusive behavior, Twitter is giving its users another tool to report harassment. Twitter announced that those being targeted by abusers online could now submit multiple tweets as evidence of the harassment instead of having to file harassment complaints on a tweet-by-tweet -tweet basis to prove the allegation. This would allow the support team to get a more thorough look at each specific case and respond faster. Earlier, users had to flag off individual tweets to Twitter's safety team to report abuse online. The new updates in most cases will trigger an investigation into the responsible account to determine if disciplinary action such as deleting the account or an IP ban may be in order. The tech giant in its blog post said, We want everyone on Twitter to feel safe expressing themselves. Behavior that crosses the line into abuse is against our rules and we want it to be easy for you to report it to us. This update makes it easier for users to provide the Twitter support team with more information about the extent of abuse and reduces the time it takes to do so. That added context often helps them investigate issues and get them resolved faster. According to Twitter, safety continues to be a top priority for them. The company said that it will have more improvements coming that will give you even more control over your experience. Twitter will be introducing these changes on iOS, Android and on Twitter.com and expect all users worldwide to get access to the feature in the coming weeks. Next up, YouTube has brought in a major change for iOS and Android phone users. It has redesigned the homepage for its app. The new update brings redesigned home page and improved recommendation system. One of the biggest improvements is how the system suggests more recent videos and those from the creators you love. Take a look. YouTube app on your iOS or Android phone is not the same anymore. 
Now you will be greeted by a new home page experience like a redesigned home with a clean and simple format that invites you to discover and enjoy. Whether you want to watch hilarious sketch comedy, your favorite vlogger, new let's play or music videos, you should be able to see the new videos you love every time you visit YouTube right on your home page. Prior to this, YouTube used to show a list of recommended items with small thumbnails followed by a few more lists of recommended videos about topics you have recently shown interest in. Now you will see a single feed of recommended videos that are all presented with large thumbnails. With this, the design of the home feed now pretty much looks exactly like the one you can already find in YouTube's trending tab. Large high resolution images makes it easy to identify videos you want to watch and a prominent icon highlights the creator for every video. One of the biggest improvement is how the system suggests more recent videos and those from the creators you like. YouTube in its blog post said, it's not just a new coat of paint on the same old home. We have coupled a fresh design with more relevant personalized recommendation that makes it easier to discover videos you will be excited to watch. It further added that new recommendation system is based on deep neural network technology which means it can find patterns automatically and keep learning and improving as it goes. Last week, YouTube also introduced a 360 live streaming feature which will be available at all YouTube space locations around the globe. With that, we are going in for a short break at the moment, but coming up next, the top trends from the virtual world. Stay with us. What do you think of yourself? झूठ बोलने की आदत पड़ गई है तुमको जस्ट बिकॉज आई डोंट से एनी थिंग तुमको बस एक ही भाषा समझ में आएगी एक ही एक और बार अगर ऐसा हुआ ना तो मैं तुम एक फोन कर सकता हूं हेलो जी हाँ मैंने ही फोन किया था अपने आसपास हो रही किसी भी तरह की घरेलू हिंसा को रोकिए और उसके खिलाफ आवाज उठाइए हर दिन बदलती खबरें हर पल बनती नई सुर्खियां खबरों की रफ्तार के साथ हर दोपहर दुनिया की ताजा तस्वीर दोपहर समाचार रोजाना दो बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर तस्वीरें जो बया करती हैं हकीकत हालात जिनसे जुड़े हैं आपके जज्बात जुनून जो बदल सकता है देश की तस्वीर खबरें जो आपके लिए जानना है जरूरी खबर दिन भर हर शाम पांच बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर Welcome back to the social connection you must be familiar with the top trending topics of the week but here's a quick wrap of the top trends that rule different social media platforms The Indian Space Research Organization has made us proud again it has placed India in the elite club of nations with its own satellite navigational system like America's GPS The Indian GPS has 7 satellites 6 were already in orbit and the last in the series called IRNSS 1G was launched this week The PSLV C33 rocket 
IRNSS 1G was launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. Among those who tracked the crucial moments of the launch and putting of the satellite in orbit was Prime Minister Narendra Modi from his office in Delhi. He applauded ISRO's efforts when the mission was declared a success and hailed its contribution to the country in limited time frame. He christened India's own GPS Navik, which means sailor in Hindi, and dedicated it to the country's fishermen and navigators. This made IRNSS 1G, Sri Harikota, Navik and ISRO trending topics on social media platforms. Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Paul Ryan invited Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address a joint meeting of Congress during his expected visit to Washington this summer. Speaker Ryan made the announcement at his weekly press conference. Once confirmed, PM Narendra Modi will become the fifth Indian Prime Minister to address a joint meeting of the U.S. Congress and the first since 2005. The news made hashtags like U.S. Congress, PM Modi, one of the most searched topics online. India's Deepika Kumari has equaled the world record in women's recurve event at the qualifying stage. The 21-year-old tallied a score of 686 out of 720 in the qualifying round of Shanghai World Cup, thereby equaling the record held by Ki Bo Bae of South Korea. However, later on, she crashed out of the quarterfinals of the women's individual recurve event. With this, Deepika Kumari and Archery were trending top on Twitter and Facebook. The Sham Benegal Committee that was established to revamp the Central Board of Film Certification submitted its report to Information and Broadcasting Minister Arun Jaitley. The panel includes filmmaker Rakesham Prakash Mehra, actor Kamal Hassan, ad guru Piyush Pandey and film journalist Bhavna Somaya. MOS Information and Broadcasting Rajavardhan Rathore said the government has faith on the creative preferences of the citizens. He added that censorship should be minimized and be only used as reasonable restriction. Head of the committee, Sham Benegal, said Censor board should not use scissors on any film and its role should be proper classification of films. This made Sham Benegal a top trend online. The Supreme Court refused to reconsider order to not allow state governments and private colleges to hold separate entrance examinations for MBBS and BDS courses for the academic year 2016-17. The Apex Court has decided to stick to its earlier order of conducting the exam as per the schedule. The NEET is scheduled to be held on May 1 and July 24. The results will be declared on August 17, while the entire admission process is scheduled to be completed by September 30. This made hashtags like NEET, AIPMT and Supreme Court Judgment a trending topic online. Moving on, water scarcity has become a fact of daily life almost all around the world, including Egypt. About 7.5 million people in Egypt have no access to clean water in their homes. Keeping this in mind, a concept called Click Funding has been launched which is playing its part in solving water scarcity. It is harnessing the growing internet penetration in the country and raising funds to social networking campaigns. Take a look at how it works. You are one click away from changing the world, reads the banner on the website of basita.org, which was founded in 2014 by two Frenchmen in their 30s who have settled now in Cairo. Alban Menonville and Salha Masalha of this startup named Basita are out there to help those who are in need of water. So how does click funding basically works? Click funding is a model that might revolutionize the way you click. After identifying the project, cause or initiative, and its campaign's objectives, the company seeks affiliate brands that are willing to sponsor the cause. It connects positive initiatives, projects and causes with sponsors who are willing to fulfill them in exchange of web visibility. The project click funding from Basita has changed the life of Azman Ham. Before, the 27-year-old mother of two would trek back and forth to her neighbor's house several times a day carrying heavy buckets of water. It's made a huge difference. I can't count the number of times I would go to my neighbor's house and they wouldn't be there. I would find the door closed or they would be busy eating. The project to provide residents in Aziz village with water was launched by UNICEF in mid-March. In just three days, their campaign video published by Basita got over 2 million views. Since then, they have connected 100 homes to piped water, but they are not stopping there. It's the web user who can déclencher. the success it's the web user who can unlock the success of the project. We tell them it's an extremely simple and extremely cool concept. Just by clicking or sharing or commenting on a video or Facebook campaign, you can help a cause find a solution.
Also, the hashtag click funding is creating quite a range on social media platform like Twitter. Twitterates are expressing their opinions and about this concept along with further innovative ideas to solve water crisis. So far, the project has received around 150,000 euros in funding. But in a country where 7.5 million people have no access to clean water in their homes, this funding is still just a drop in the ocean. Well, we are heading for a short commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Stay tuned because coming up is an interesting search engine for kids. Keep watching The Social Connection. सुर्खियों की भीड़ में अहम खबरें असल मुद्दे जो डालते हैं आपकी जिंदगी पर असर दिन भर की हर बड़ी खबर का बेपाक विश्लेषण सच सटीक संपूर्ण न्यूज नाइट सोमवार से शुक्रवार रात 8 से 10 बजे सिर्फ डी डी न्यूज पर हेलो पापा कब से फोन कर रहा हूँ फोन ही नहीं लग रहा है अच्छा घर पहुंची कि नहीं रास्ते में हूँ आज ऑफिस में लेट हो गया था ऐसा क्या काम आ गया आज बेटा बारह बज रहे हैं लास्ट मिनट ऑफिस में काम आ गया था फोन नहीं कर पाए अच्छा घर कैसे जा रही हो मैंने टैक्सी ले ली है ऑफिस ऐसी कोई है तुम्हारे साथ नहीं मैं अकेले हूँ अकेले टैक्सी में इतनी रात में अरे पापा आप सुनो तो मेरी बात पापा सुनो टैक्सी का नंबर नोट करो एक सेकंड होल्ड करो नहीं मुझे बताओ टैक्सी का नंबर चलो हाँ आप चिंता मत कीजिए मैं आपके बेटे को ठीक से घर पहुंचा दूंगी जितनी ज्यादा औरतें होंगी ये दुनिया उनके लिए उतनी ही बेहतर होगी चलिए इस दुनिया में बेटियों की जगह पहचाने डी डी न्यूज अब हर बड़े डी टी प्लेटफॉर्म और केबल नेटवर्क पर उपलब्ध फ्री डिश पर देखें डीडी न्यूज चैनल नंबर टू पर डिश टीवी पर चैनल 549 पर टाटा स्काई पर चैनल 453 पर एयरटेल पर चैनल 290 पर सन डायरेक्ट पर चैनल 550 पर वीडियो कॉन पर चैनल 328 पर रिलायंस पर चैनल 405 पर हैथवे पर चैनल 227 पर और टेन केबल पर चैनल 320 पर डीडी न्यूज केवल खबर पूरी खबर वेलकम बैक टू द सोशल कनेक्शन चिल्ड्रन माइट बी लॉस्ट इन द वास्ट वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंटरनेट व्हिच गिव्स मिलियंस ऑफ रिजल्ट्स फॉर दिस सर्च क्वेरीज एंड इनिशिएटिव हैज बीन टेकन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ choosito.com टू मेक इंटरनेट किट फ्रेंडली टूल फॉर लर्निंग Chooseitor.com is an educational search engine that filters results so that students will only see websites tailored to their grade and reading level. This might prove to be a boon for parents and teachers and also a better learning experience for students. Here are the details. It started with an idea and turned into a million dollar one. That's how the National Science Foundation granted Eleni Milsukoki to get her company Chooseitor.com off and running. Chusito is an educational search engine that takes the trillions of search results that show up on a typical site like Google and allows students from kindergarten to the 12th standard to narrow results to their grade and reading level. For instance, if you Google water cycle, more than 26 million results pop up, mostly from government agencies. But if you choose for it on Chusito with filters like for first to third graders, only age appropriate educational websites are shown. Chusito is solving this problem by analyzing the linguistic content of websites in real-time search to determine the reading level and subject of the site. Usually we use another database like we used Britannica and um that's good but I think this one's better. Eleni Meel Sukoki left her job as a university professor to enter the male dominated field of tech startups and what she developed is now being used by 40,000 students around the world. I could see that, that 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 we needed technical solution for how to create the web, how to make the web a place for learning, not only for doing shopping. Chusito.com is a search engine that narrows down results so students at almost any grade and any reading level will only see websites tailored for them. What it does 
is filter everything on the web. And when I say everything, I mean all one point something trillion sites on the web. Meal Sokoki projects more than two lakh students will be using her website by the end of the year. I just cannot wait to see it in every classroom. Chuseto is a search engine that offers a reading level index for its search results. When you search on Chuseto, you can select to refine results to reading levels marked as early readers, fluent readers or advanced readers. Students who feel overwhelmed by unfiltered results on other search engines could benefit from using Chuseto to filter search results. Teachers and parents who are looking for reading materials for their kids might find the option to filter results to a reading level appropriate for the students. Well, it's time to see all the feedback that you sent in on our Twitter, Facebook and YouTube handles. And well, with that, we have reached the end of the show. We look forward to more of that feedback coming in on our Gmail, Twitter handle and Facebook page. If you missed any of the episodes of our shows, catch them on our YouTube channel, DD News Official. Well, that's right. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of The Social Connection. See you again next week, same time, same place. But before we log off, we leave with this week's interesting video. Thank you and goodbye. Wherever you live, your health is impacted by the environment. Around the world, more than 50 million people die every year from disease, and nearly one quarter of those deaths are directly caused by environmental factors. Can you imagine? That's 1,400 deaths every hour of every day from an unhealthy environment. The hardest hit are those in low- and middle-income countries, especially in Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Western Pacific. And the young and old are most severely affected. More than half the world live in urban areas and can face heavy traffic, air pollution, poor housing, and limited access to clean water and sanitation. Many work in the informal sector under dangerous, dirty, and demeaning conditions. We all face the impact of chemicals and poisons, radiation and poor farming practices. And climate change means a very uncertain future. So now we are at a crossroads. Things can continue getting worse or we can work together to improve our world. Simple measures can be taken immediately to protect our health and the environment. We can reduce our consumption and clean our air by using sustainable fuels and walking or cycling more. We can safely store toxic substances in our homes and workplaces. We can protect our water resources by disposing of waste appropriately and introduce clean energy technologies. We can bring multiple government sectors together to ensure all policies actively support health. Let us all work together to improve Stop our health and well-being.